Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So Sports Illustrated has a very, very interesting article up right now about the Hardy Boys, specifically Matt Hardy, and exactly what's going on with that agreement that was reached last week but not finalized. According to Sports Illustrated, Matt Hardy actually agreed to pay between $10,000 and $15,000 to get the rights to the broken gimmick. Now right now there's no trademark on the gimmick. We've told you this before. Matt tried to trademark the gimmick and he couldn't because he didn't own the intellectual property. Impact hasn't actually tried to trademark it because there's no reason for them to trademark it right now. They also noted that the Hardys were even willing to sign off on a press release publicly ending this ordeal saying both sides are on good terms. Yet Anthem had some pretty outrageous demands wanting 50% of all Hardy revenue going forward no matter where they work. This also included the art and music of Jeff Hardy, which was viewed by the Hardys as a monumental heist and money grab. Because, yeah, Jeff's band did a song or two for Impact or TNA, or whatever you want to call it, and I think he's maybe done some artwork that they sold through their company and stuff. But that has nothing to do with this. That has nothing to do with the company. So that right there, it's like, are you kidding me? They wanted to take part of Jeff's business? No way. Like, that's crazy. Again, an agreement was sort of reached last week, like we noted. But Impact Wrestling President Ed Nordholm hasn't signed off on it. And I feel, from everything I'm hearing and this Sports Illustrated article, that he doesn't have any intent on signing it. One thing right now, Jeff Jarrett feels that if he stalls long enough, Matt's going to give up. Matt's not going to want to put any more money into this than he already has. But Matt is willing to do whatever he has to get his gimmick. The Hardys feel that if it goes to court, there's no way they can lose. First off, they have records showing that they paid for every single taping done for the Broken Hardy stuff. Second, if this was all under impact, then impact would have had to pay some sort of fee to actually be using Matt's compound or have some sort of paperwork saying that Matt let them use it for filming for free. They don't have anything like that. Another thing that the Hardys feel is in their favor, and Rebby has actually tweeted about this, that there was never any child labor laws signed when using their one-year-old son Maxel on impact television. Also, the man that played Senior Benjamin is Rebby's real father, and he was never paid once for any appearance that he did for the show. So that's another thing, you know, you use this guy, and you didn't pay him. So all this stuff racked up, the Hardys really think if it goes to court, it's gonna, it's gonna be in their favor and they're gonna win and possibly just get this thing handed to them. On the other side, Global Force and Impact Wrestling feel if they drag it out long enough, Matt may give up because he may run out of money. He may not have enough money to actually go forward with it in court. So that is the latest that we know based off of the Sports Illustrated article and some more information that's coming out every single day. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think if it goes to court, the Hardys will win or that Global Force can win? Do you think that Matt's gonna give up? And do you think that this is just all ridiculous and Global Force should just give it up? But with that, you have to also think, if this was the WWE that owned the gimmick, would they even entertain the offer of transferring it over to Matt? Whether Matt was willing to pay him or not, I highly doubt that. So I see where Impact's coming from. You know, we want what we want. So, I mean, I want your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think about this big whole ordeal. Matt thought it was all set in stone. He started teasing it this past week on Monday Night Raw, and he may have jumped the gun. But for the latest on the Broken Hardy issues, keep it locked right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe here on YouTube.